Hello, and welcome to The Week Ahead with Clear Admit. In this series, we'll be telling you about the latest news from MBA admissions, we'll be providing you with some tips about what to do with your week ahead, and we'll be telling you about the latest deadlines. Let's begin with deadlines. Many round two deadlines have already passed. UNC Keenan Flagler's round two deadline is Friday, January 16th at 5 p.m. Columbia is one of the few top schools that has a rolling admissions policy. If you're applying to Columbia, you should get your application in as soon as you can. Harvard recently released its interview notification deadlines. If you applied to Harvard, you will learn whether you will be interviewed on January 28th or February 4th. For those of you who have submitted round two applications in the past few weeks, congratulations. In the week ahead, you should be working on preparing for your MBA interviews. You should be practicing your responses to common questions like, walk me through your resume. You should go to the websites of the schools to which you've applied to learn about their specific interview practices, and you should talk to current students about their interview experiences. For your reference, Clear Admit has an interview reports archive with summaries of interviews from previous applicants that you might find useful. In terms of news this week, we have good news for MBAs and MBA hopefuls. GMAC just released their employer survey. Nine out of 10 MBA employers said they expected to hire as many or more MBAs in 2015 as they did in 2014. For those of you who are just beginning the application process, you may be interested in meeting with MBA recruiters from around the world who are touring. The MBA tour kicks off January 17th in India and will be coming to the United States beginning in New York City on January 31st. For more information, click the link below. That's all we have for this week's edition of The Week Ahead with Clear Admit. We'll be back next week with more admissions news and tips.